Kima Pro offers a basic set of auto sampling functions taken directly from Auto Center. While Auto Center is a dedicated heavy duty set and forget one click application, the auto sampling features in Kima Pro are more designed to let you quickly import a sound from a software or hardware synthesizer for further processing or editing. So we do not have round robin or multidimensional sampling, you can only sample one patch at once. Kima Pro is definitely not a replacement for Auto Center, they are very different applications, but still it's very very useful to have these functions inside Kima Pro. The interface is very simple, you just set the notes and the velocities you want to sample. the number of velocity layers and the velocity curve you want to capture. If for some reason you want to customize the samples you are going to capture, you can edit directly the map and if you change your mind you can go back and set again your parameters. It's all very flexible. When you're ready to go you just click start and Kima Pro starts sending out MIDI notes to sync one by one, uh, then it records, streams and maps the audio and builds an instrument. Okay, now we have captured uh, our instrument. We want to auto loop it, so we use the panels machine. We can now export the project to disk in all the available instrument formats. Kima Pro also offers an interactive sampling feature which is not available in Auto Sampler called Auto Sampler Live. While normally you have to set all notes and velocities in advance to auto sample an instrument, with the auto sampler live function you just have to play the notes and the velocities you want, and Kima Pro will automatically record in real time the audio and place it exactly at the note and velocity at which you just played the note. It works even if you are not sampling a MIDI instrument, you just press the note on your MIDI keyboard and then you can play that note from an acoustic instrument too. Here I'm capturing a percussive instrument, I'm enabling the live mode and then I just play the note which gets recorded, another note and another note. Now I will disable the live mode and this is my instrument, you can play it, but there are not enough velocities so I switch again the live mode Now I will play and record other notes at lower velocities and also in between. Let's try it again. Yes, this is now okay. And as you've seen, using the live mode is uh, as simple as it gets. Kima Pro has a dedicated sample browser 
and of course you can also use the finder but this browser has a few interesting tricks at any time you can select and drag the sample files to the key map mapping matrix you can quickly switch between several important folders as the desktop the home folder your external drives the recording folder the folder for the currently open project and three user defined locations if you hold down the command key and click one of the three user locations you set it to the current folder you can also drag and drop from the browser to the finder and in that case the files will be copied you can browse the files while playing And if you're assembling a collection and you want to grab a few files here and there without having to drag and drop every time, a dedicated button adds them to the current layer. At any time you can check the browsing history, go back and forth and move to the parent folder. Here we have a few folders sorted by tempo, each one with uh, some drum loops. We we'll use the batch creator to build an instrument for each folder automatically in multiple formats. I drag the top folder to the batch creator. I'm selecting all samples that I want to use. One instrument per folder. And I want the notes to start at C3. I want to create all the formats and now I'm creating a folder where these instruments will be created and that's it. Kima Pro is now building the instruments for me automatically. And as you can see here we have our instrument files in all the formats and we have one instrument for each folder. The custom remapper in Kima Pro is useful when we want to change the mapping of our instruments, especially with drum kits. In this example, we'll use a very simple kit, which I'm now creating using the AutoSample Live function. A click and I just added my two entries corresponding to my two zones with their current mapping low note high note and root note now we want to create a different mapping where samples are spread over more nodes so that they can play them pitched as I have not a remapping preset uh, yet for this I will manually edit the zones Then we select the two entries and I'm capturing the destination mapping settings. Again, low note, high note, root note. And we can now see the original mapping and the new mapping. With this, we have defined our remapping preset and we can now apply the inverse remapping and then remap again. And this time it's completely automatic. And I'll save this as a preset. This example is very simple, but in the same way you can create remapping presets from a general MIDI drum kit to a Kurzweil drum kit and so on. Once you create a preset, you just have to load the instrument, remap it and save it back.
practice, you just select the samples you want to tune, open the spectral tune, activate the tuning fork, then scroll between the suggested pitch values until you find the right one. And then you go to the next sample and so on. This time process doesn't require you to enter any number of factors. It's all done using the course of keys and it's very, very good. A similar technique is also used in the save and export panels and we can do pretty much the same in terms of how the new sample files will be named.